In this tutorial, we're going to take a pre-existing template stored in the Google Galleries and install it as your own personal website for use as a portfolio. We will also customize this portfolio for your school. But before we do that, we need to first discuss why we need a web portfolio in the first place. This is the online textbook for Mobile CSP. If we were to click on one of these units, and inside that unit, if we were to click on one of the projects, and if we go down to the bottom, we see that there are several reflection questions that need to be answered. The template not only provides a place to answer these questions, but has these questions preloaded so that they do not have to be copy and pasted by the student. In addition, when it's time to submit a project, either by clicking on the helper robot on the front page or this portfolio help tab on any page in the template, you will be brought over to a helper site that contains preloaded templates that show you exactly what is needed for your project submission. Let's have a brief look at what our finished project looks like. By clicking on this tab, we can see an example of a project write-up. This is the template we will be installing for this project. To get here, type the link shown on the screen. You'll know you were right at a template instead of a regular website by the presence of the blue bar on top. Now to use this template, simply click on this link. We have now selected the appropriate template. We now need to name our site. You should check with your teacher to see if she has any particular convention she wants to use. Otherwise, print your full name like this. Then hit the recapture button and hit the create button at the top. It may take several minutes for Google to load this template into your website. I'm going to restart this tutorial now once this process is done. Once you see this page, your website has now been built for you. We will now briefly run through the process of how to customize this template. First, we're going to have a look at replacing this logo with your picture. To do that, we're going to click on the settings wheel and we're going to go to edit site layout. As soon as you do that, you can see that this area lights up. We're going to click on this box now and we're going to take this and we're going to remove it. Then we're going to insert our own image. We're going to center this image. You may end up needing to hit the small button if your image is too large. Afterwards, we're going to put our name here, and we're going to delete this line of text. Then once we hit the OK button, you can see that these changes have now taken effect. If you ever need to add a page to your virtual notebook, simply click on the Create page here up at the top. Likewise, if you want to change the colors and fonts, click on the Settings wheel and go to Manage Site. Then click here to change the themes and colors. If you're a teacher and want to customize this template for use at your school, simply load the template as your own website, make the necessary changes, and republish it as a new website template. To do that, click on the general setting, then scroll down to this button which allows you to publish your website now as a new template. Then tell your students to use this template 